detecting and mitigating a DDoS attack utilizing Arbor Sightline and TMS. This demo simulates a multi-vector attack targeting a server farm. The ICMP and SYN flood are protocol-style attacks aimed at overwhelming resources on the target. Sightline will detect the attack and auto-mitigate with diversion to TMS. However, auto-mitigation is not always completely successful, so we will modify the TNS auto-mitigation to fully block the multi-vector attack. On the main Sightline page, we can see general traffic statistics and attack alerts. We can use this page to briefly look at peacetime traffic versus traffic spikes, as well as get a quick summary of open alerts and attacks. There is an ongoing alert in the alert listing section. We can already see that Sightline has identified the traffic misuse as ICMP and TCP SYN. Let's click on the alert ID to open the alert summary on a new tab and dig deeper to see if the alert is an actual attack. On the summary tab, take note of the following. What kind of attack is it? How big is it? Where is it targeted? Is it incoming or outgoing traffic? The mitigation section details the mitigations currently in use. In our case, we can see that a TMS auto mitigation has already started, indicating that Sightline detected anomalous traffic that exceeded set thresholds and automatically blocked the traffic. Under misuse types, we have a graphical representation breaking down the alert traffic. We can see that most of the traffic is ICMP. Our next step is to verify the TMS auto mitigation and ensure that no attack traffic is leaking. With auto mitigations, we must verify that we are blocking malicious traffic while still passing legitimate traffic. We can do this by sampling packets and seeing which packets are being dropped versus passed. Let's click on the link to the TMS auto mitigation under the mitigation section. Here we can already see zombie detection dropping traffic along with TCP SYN authentication in the countermeasures section. The graph in the summary section shows a large portion of traffic is still passing through TMS. There may be traffic leaking. Let's confirm what's being dropped versus passed. We can confirm this by looking at sample packets, which provides an easy way to view traffic transiting the TMS. We'll first filter by dropped packets. We can see that most of the traffic is identical by comparing port, protocol, and packet length. We'll select a packet, and in the decode section, expand transmission control protocol and confirm that the blocked traffic is made up of SYN packets. This confirms that SYN packets are being dropped and suggests that ICMP may be leaking. Now we'll inspect the passing traffic to see what is leaking. This time, we'll filter by past packets. We can clearly see identical ICMP packets sourcing from various countries, with the same packet size, targeting one destination. This is characteristic of an ICMP flood. We'll select a packet and in the decode section, expand internet control message protocol. The leaking traffic is ICMP type 3 code 3. To address the leakage, the auto mitigation must be modified. This is easily done. Under countermeasures, we'll expand the packet header filtering dropdown and enter a filter expression identifying our ICMP type and code that we identified earlier, as well as our targeted server and select save. TMS will begin to mitigate the ICMP attack, which can now be verified in the same window. We can also verify the mitigation using the summary graph for the countermeasure tab. These graphs show that the attack is being mitigated by using a combination of auto mitigation and manual adjustment tailored to this specific attack. If we go back to the main alert page, we can now see that TMS is now blocking all alert traffic, completely mitigating the attack on our server. Thanks for watching this short demonstration of how NetScout's Arbor Sightline and TMS can be used to automatically detect a DDoS attack and immediately orchestrate a mitigation. For over 20 years, the majority of the world's ISPs and large enterprises have relied upon NetScout's Arbor DDoS protection products and global DDoS threat intelligence to protect the availability of their networks and services. For over 20 years, the majority of the world's ISPs and large enterprises have relied upon NetScout's Arbor DDoS protection product and global DDoS threat intelligence to protect the availability of their networks and services.